Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and uh, today we're continuing our Expert Blind playthrough where we are exploring Lutheran. This here is me, uh, originally prior to the arena, running back and forth. I was just trying to find the city to uh, rebuild armor in. But here's the kicker, that just doesn't exist in Lutheran. So this time we're taking it a bit slower and are on, uh, also going to go for the purple stuff so first uh, test will be to go to the southern region can already tell you as, the, as much as i've seen from lutheran you don't want to be here this is a completely uh, completely disease ridden infested blood-sucking mosquito overrun uh, swamp with little hope for anything let's see what this I person is talking about reagents to sell at the border and mosquito proboscises are in high demand right now. Okay, so you want 20 mosquitoes. Not even anything to pick here. Pretty sure we're going to get these mosquitoes one way or the other. Um, workshop. Let's upgrade. What can we upgrade? I would like to upgrade the training stummy as and when we can build it. But we need uh, wood for that. There are already a couple of mosquitoes there. And you can see kind of wasp swarms uh, all, all around uh, the landscape. When I rushed through it, there was kind of a march of zombies. I, I can tell you like hundreds of them. So I had to be careful not to run into them. Can we please pick up this iron ore? No. It's outside of reach. Cool. Bandit border crossing. Mercenaries. Are you trying to avoid the board at all? Are you climbing Mount Altis because you have no border pass? The guard would be completely swamped without us. Go on. Give us your crowns and let's be done with it. Don't touch the crooks, Ryan. Pay up or leave. You pay. All right. You already mentioned that, guys. No need to repeat yourself. Don't touch it. It bites. No, we don't want to touch it. Okay, well, there is a border crossing. Where would it potentially lead? Um, if I was to take, has, had to take a guess, somewhere down here. Can explore that a little bit later. By the way, we just got some wood, which means we can craft this here. Training's dummy. What does it do? Companion earns some experience during rest. Well, that sounds good already. Okay. Um, yeah, I still want to create more leather because we can really, really use that. The training dummy sounds like a cool idea. And what would the upgraded training dummy do? Your human companions gain 6% more experience in battle. Well, that is a fabulous upgrade. But unfortunately, I think we're missing the wood for that. 
That's one of the best upgrades that I've seen in a while. Assigned companions gain 20% uh, extra experience during rest. And we can also use swift progress for even more battle experience. And we are well rested. So I think the experience bonus just adds up. You need to, uh, you need to get all of uh, these little bonuses, elsewise you're potentially selling yourself a little bit short. Good training, stummy upgrade, which means we're just missing one. Very soon there is going to be a rest, but let's look uh, what the community of light has to say. First of all, we're using our captive in order to create more wood, because that seems to be the one material that we're always running out. I feel bad for pervert to always run around with us, but at least he, uh, he can let out his anger uh, whilst chopping wood. During the war, Ediranian missionaries converted many to the faith of the light, but our community has been losing members by the day. Who goes there? Oh, oh, please excuse me, I'm on edge. Our little community is beset by misfortune. We used to make a point of welcoming newcomers with our faith and hearts on our sleeves. But these okay. abductions have made us wary. Good. We need to bring back uh, the abducted ones. That's great. They do have a sawmill, which means they should have way more uh, lumber. They should have way more lumber, which, by the way, we can use for some of our upgrades. Okay, so far that is working well. I think we got a rest soon. Yep. Which means now we can test out the training, dummy. Nemri has earned 80 experience during the training. That's actually not too bad. Uh, that is the equivalent of two fights. That's not too bad at all. That's the equivalent of two fights. Can we put more? Oh yeah, we, oh yeah. Training stummy, here we go. Uh, both of you. Work on that dummy together. And Edler says something to share with us. He needs to eat some fresh apples, apparently. Okay, well, that training dummy is good. I like it. Can we build another one? No, you can only have everything once, right? Yeah. Nemri needs to become level 7. Jim here also. I think Enders also, so... But Enders trained for now, and we should be fine. Okay, time to continue our exploration. Anguish and fear. We need to... Do what exactly? Uh, find the face followed up, abducted by the bandits. Well, that can't be too difficult, can it? And down here, there's a small trekker's camp. 
Let's see what they want. The man wearing strange clothes was lurking around the tomb. We tried to intercept him, but the wretch saw us coming. He managed to escape in the swamp, where the fog is thickest. When we finally gave up the chase, my sister Sununa was missing. We are tasked to keep intruders out of the tomb. We can't leave it unguarded while we're looking for Sununa. That's why we need you. We trackers are willing to pay whatever it takes to find one of our own. All right. Still be with the intruder. He might lead you to her. I follow Sununa. So we got our first lead for a you quest. Trade. Strangers usually don't. I take that, thank you. I can offer you a tomb of the ancients is our priority. So your help with these monsters, be careful. Good, and we get yet another hunt. <clears throat> Every time we got a hunt, it was fun. The report mentions a corp lying somewhere between Ludern Jail and the Fat Claw Cave. Where is that? Ludern Jail is here. And the Fat Claw Cave is here. So this is where the hunt would begin. We're going to take that on as well. We can now officially make red stew. What does it do? Battlefield is indoors. Enemies start with a surprise. Uh, that's a fantastic collar. Uh, how can I build that? It's a tinker item. That's a resurrection for Roby. And impaling stake. Doubles the influence gained from the corpse. Impales a corpse uh, on it to generate influence after each rest. Okay, that's a bit morbid. But let's first of all craft the collar because that one looked fantastic. Here, protective collar. We got a knowledge point, uh, which we are, of course, going to invest into the training dummy. Missing some cloth and some rope, okay. Good. And that color would essentially keep Roby safe and sound that's a great recipe there there is a rat infestation i think what we can do because we haven't dealt with rats in a while let's just kill the rats Oh, by the way, there is the tome up here. I see. Okay, let's kill the rats. Clear out the infestation. And afterwards, we can search for the Lutheran smugglers. Wow, there's a lot to explore up here. I feel like we're coming up against the absolute edge of the map. Ooh, oh, that looks good. Um, let's see. We can go down. It's a little secret hideout here. Independent state of Mount Altus. Wait, 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 wait. 
Is that a new area? Oh, I think that's the area where the bandits were taking uh, the border control. Independent state. What kind of an independent state is this? Only wood, only forest. Well, it seems as if I am a bit further away from uh, the road uh, than I wanted. Not sure if this here is already a kind of higher level area. Outsiders, sit down, make yourselves at home. It's not often we get news from the outside world. Yeah, we're resting here for a night. For once, we can uh, sleep in our beds. Provided you pay me handsomely. Level 5 might not be as bad. Uh, I mean, it's not the level 8. I see you are well traveled. Where would you like to go? South to Tiltren or north to Ludern? Well, those are a little bit too pricey for me, but I take the ropes. Let's explore that a little bit further. I have a good feeling about this area here. And then we're going back to the rats. Ooh, interesting. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Before we do anything. Critical damage increased by 20%. Oh yeah, that's huge. Okay, so this is Tiltron co uh, Country. We already know this. Cool part is we have now managed to open that other entrance to this independent state, uh, Mount Altus. Not sure how he would have gotten here elsewise. Okay, but before we go there, let's explore this area. And whilst we're at it, as always, I like to put a couple of uh, mm, of uh, Piltons here so that you can essentially get onto that hill from various locations. Such as down here. Um, whilst we're at it, uh, let's craft a couple more of these Piltons. What would it take us to upgrade the dummy, by the way? Training dummy, cloth and rope. And the next time your companions gain 7% battle experience and the cost to buy aptitude points with career plan is reduced. Well, the second bonus is not that good, but extra uh, extra experience for everyone as passive bonus is fantastic. Alright, 
that's a pretty damn cool uh, hidden area, Mount Altus. Don't tell me there is an entire area here. That would be mind blowing. I was about to explore Ludern and now we're somewhere completely different. Ender Sanders gets 60 experience, Jim gets 80 by training. I don't know why does Enders only get 60. Level 6, level 6. Does he have a trait to require more experience? No. Well, we're going to monitor the situation. Clearly both of them are getting combat experiences if they would be fighting, which is fantastic. Maybe that's the way to go, uh, to go about experience in higher levels, just using the training dummy. But what would you do if you have a larger party? Then that is not a concept that you could apply. Hmm. Strange. Okay, some of the things in this game not, uh, do not fully make sense. For instance, the experience. So that, that's a bit intransparent. High level fights seem to give you very little experience and take long, while slow level fights are very easy and still have comparable high amounts of experience. Good. Critical damage, 15%. I don't know what that morale is, but I tell you, critical damage plus 15% is the way to go for a damage dealer. Oh, this is Tilton uh, Country again. Woodcutter's Camp? Yeah, okay, okay. Well, got you. We have been here before, and that's essentially another entrance to Tilton Con uh, County. Okay, cool. Well, back to our secret uh, independent state. which I just stumbled upon accidentally. By the way, fun fact, there seems to be a bandit state and uh, the only town, so to speak, is an inn. Why would there be an inn when that is a bandit state? Wouldn't that inn be continuously robbed day in and day out? Think about it, it doesn't really make sense. Level one bear, really. All right, where's the bear?
Haha, <laughs> found you. Well, this should uh, rather be quick. And there we go. See, that fight, level one bear, like single bear, gives you 33 experience. And when I fight level eight, nine, 13 crocs, that gives you 80. That is not reasonable. Okay, forgot to check the XP gain. We're going to figure it out in a, uh, in a second. In the meantime, let's explore these hidden lands. Lots of exploration and a different rat infestation this time. Well, might as well surrender the goods. For a number of crimes. We will not let you go until you Thank you for your contribution. Good, no problem. Anything to declare? No. This is Tiltron Co uh, County again. So apparently I'm currently looking through the parts that I've uh, overseen. There is a red infestation. I we don't currently need red infestations. I know there are apparently a limited resource, uh, one that you can respawn, but I mean, just look at uh, the amount of pristine essences. We have 20. I can craft, I can craft all day long without running out of pristine essences. But what I will say is I want to understand where this way here leads to finish the map. It leads to the Haven. Okay, I sh should have just continued uh, going <clears throat> through this area. Well, I command the game uh, on really good exploration mechanics. There's always something you can find if you're just keeping your uh, eyes wide open. We are going to do one rat. Uh, like I mentioned it uh, beforehand over here and then we're finally going to the looter and smugglers. Let me fast forward to the rat. Okay, not quite the rats. I decided against them for the same reason we really don't need pristine essences at the moment. And we're continuing a bit of exploration. I found the Jabal clan here, which really was the one a place apparently where you could get materials so um we have 23 repair which is okay shall we sell anything the cardinal mosquito of ludern can pierce through plate and armor yeah i think we can part ways with a few of these items Just restocking our gold reserves again. Gold seems to have been a no issue ever since, really, uh, after the first, after the first area, which is quite interesting. All right, so. No further plans there. Anything else we could do? Oh, yeah, of course, we could go into the town hall. A refugee? The guard will return him to the border. Our chief. Is this a joke, mercenaries? He's a Duranian. His ancestors occupied Ludern and slaughtered my people for 30 years. Okay, well. 
There's the refugee. Artes and Tiltron to get here. But nobody wants me. I'm on my last legs. There's nothing waiting for me in Edoran. The war between Lord Lahart and Lord Vanalis destroyed what little I had. Take pity, mercenaries. Convince the judge to let me stay. All right, judge. Is this a joke, mercenaries? He's Edoranian. Let's persuade you. I dare say your reasoning makes sense, mercenaries. This poor man is a humble farmer, so young he cannot have taken part in the Edoranian war. All right, we'll keep him. But trust me, life is hard in Ludern. He'll regret not getting arrested in Tiltrin. He said I could stay. Oh, Jeru, <clears throat> the ancients and tools bless you. Here, this is the only thing still connecting me to my old life. Now that I'm starting a new one, it's of no use to me. The guy doesn't look like he's 30. He's at least clocking 40. Maybe even more than that. Bonus. Profession experience gains increased by 10%. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, uh, well, good question. We have a lot of good parts already. I think we'll put that one on uh, because getting Tinkerer to the highest level is really a chore. Cool. Finished all of uh, these Getting items, the which brings us neatly way. to the, elders say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. the last one, which is getting a recipe here. Trapper's fondue, uh, fondue. Okay. Well, we know a lot, of, a lot of things. Expert cooks. We can uh, make a tasty meal of nothing but dirt and and uh, yeah, cheese. Good. Here is where we need to where we need to go originally. I think those those masked men there might have I think those masked men over here might be what we're looking for. Uh, before we engage them I smell combat. Let's get some swift progress in. More experience is always helpful. Ah, mercenaries. Looking for a plague remedy, are we? Don't bother asking anyone else. We're the only ones who sell it around here. Well, selling is a bit of a strong word. Uh, we are just taking the formula and then we'll figure it out ourselves. A fugitive in the mist doesn't ring a bell, to be honest. Anything else I can do for you? Oh, such flattery. Although it is true we have a knack for being in the right place at the right time. We did see some bloke getting chased by a tracker, but he wasn't one of ours. The two of them went around the hill behind the Moritega farm, straight to the cursed village of Lathaya. If you decide to go after them, you'll need what we're selling. The place is crawling with plague-ridden monsters. See, you make a fantastic point. I think we're just taking all of the rest. Uh, thanks for your services. It was a pleasure buying something from you. We need infected brains, fish oil and pristine essences. Uh, they are uh, not easy to come by, specifically the pristine essences. And uh, since that is a valuable material, I wonder, shall we just put them in here? Cure for the plague. And for now, Ender Sanders is laundering uh, all of that. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Good. Anders uh, makes sure that these vials are legit after a while. No pun intended. And these guys here have Tom, uh, Tomb Raider as, as a quest, which is look for the smuggler's hideout. Well, we can certainly do that. But first, I would like to take a rest. Pay everyone. Feed on enough um, meat and get a good night's rest in. Oh, I should have looked for the experience. Never mind. Good, he has laundered uh, those, which means you are sitting at the strategy table and you're back to training. Anders is almost level 7, so is Jim. Got a couple of bandits here. <clears throat> I don't want to get involved with them. <clears throat> Instead, what I would want to do is get down there. And find out what kind of a secret is down here, a hangman tree. Help, help, please help. Oh boy, level 8. Well, can't let that guy be up there by himself. Good, let's help him. Gosh, I hate the swamp. Nothing personal, but it is just so unappealing. There is poison everywhere. Good, so what's the play, Saiken? What is the play? I think this one here could work. Well, it's actually worked very well. Okay, cool. That's one down. Bear begins to engage. Oh yeah, and these guys are creating a lot of poison fever negative status effects, just stuff that you don't want to have to deal with. Luckily, Roby has a lot of hit points. Uh, unfortunately for him, he, un he also takes a lot of damage from these guys. Good hit. 
Good kill. And let's continue. Good, that worked out well. A little more spear action and then we're getting in position. Uh, he will not yet die, unfortunately. Good. Well, so far that worked out reasonably well. Uh, let's clear out this side. That's one kill. Another hit. And you can already see they have plenty of hit points. Level 9 is no joke and I promise you this here is maybe a 90 hit point, uh, 90 XP f uh, fight which is crazy if you think about it, right? Just mention how little XP you are obtaining compared to the difficulty of the fight. Good, new round is starting, I think. We will engage all the way over here. Charging over a little bit of a dual hit. There's the galvanization we were looking for. There is fury. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good job, Enders. Oh dear. Thank the eye, you came. I'd like to give you a token of my gratitude. How about this? I just need a moment to gather my wits. I forgot uh, to look uh, map uh, the XP, but I think it was like 60, 70 yet again. Pretty gruesome tree actually. Okay, so <clears throat> we want to get further over there. I can tell you uh, this way is not going to work. Apparently there is no way through the thickest of the fog. Uh, fog. And I don't want to fight Yet another battle. I want to continue the storyline.
please. No. Don't tell anyone. All right, let's try to cure you. I can't believe it. There are no marks left. Let's talk to the guard. They have no e You cured this woman. What sorcery is this? You had one of those Alazarian remedies. That's very generous of you mercenaries. But moving forward, I'd think twice about how I use my resources if I were you. It's next to impossible to find these in Ludern. And now, we'll take our leave. Mercenaries, I don't even know where to start. You just saved our whole family. That we crossed paths was a gift from the gods. In turn, I have one for you. A tooth color. Okay, what does it do? Critical damage plus 10%. Well, it's not bad, but I like our color more. My family was ready. Good. A little bit of a side quest here. And now we're finally off to find that woman. Ooh, there's uh, the cursed village of Lathire. Leth I think that's our destination. But before we go there, I want to see what's in this, uh, these woods. A couple of wolves for sure. Let's take a camp here. Good. We got uh, 72 po experience points from Anders and uh, Jim is still clocking his 80 away. Uh, we're getting 260. I like extra experience and that brings Anders solidly to level 7. Jim is still not there. Wow, even with the training dummy, it takes a while. So Anders requires more willpower. Need to get to that critical threshold of 15. Could get weapon upgrades, but we don't want to be <coughs> too peculiar. <coughs> so, yeah, we're going to level every uh, everybody up to level 7. So JP Pauli is uh, next, takes the place of Anders. Um, bonus generates blah, 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 at the end. Okay, we need to put at least one person in here for the extra Valor. And we continue to require raw materials. Our party is too small for all of that, so I think we just stay with uh, stay with the bare necessities. The bear unfortunately can't sleep at the campfire. Ah, too bad. Oh, nice. We got a skill mastery book and discovered a secret. Secret in returns give knowledge points and nah, 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 nah. We don't want to fight wolves. I don't want to fight any wildlife for the matter.
Good. We're finally in the cursed village of Lethire. Form a group of scouts and explore the village as quietly as possible to avoid attracting plague ridden. Well, heavy armor might not be the best idea there. Ah, we see noise levels, okay. Noise 14, okay. Dilly. Anders. <clears throat> Zoe. Still silent. JP and a fighter. Well, that's not good enough. Troops total <clears throat> noise level is okay, but not, but not silent. Well, fantastic. We get resources out of it. I like, uh, I like the game. This time, it's all about not making noise. Oh. Yeah, well. <clears throat> there is the problem. I'm not sure where to find. Yeah, well, we could have just gone in with the entire group and be like, yeah, doesn't matter. Block entrances to prevent plague ridden uh, from entering the building and swarming you. Find a way um, to outskill to challenge. What? Use use to find a way to, outs, uh, to outskill to challenge the gouge and escape the building. You're not 100% sure what the game is trying to tell me here. Find a way out of the building. Each successive use in the same round uh, decreases the effectiveness. Okay, understood. Well multiple attacks that is effective and yeah we're we're blocking here okay let's kill this guy first wow wow Okay, okay. Critical hits are the way to go. Definitely need to skill more critical. Good, so we're blocking here. And I think that's it. Kill this guy. Okay, I see how it works. You can't get out in a single turn. All 
we're 100% sure if they wouldn't attack us, I think they would. Wow, now everybody's poisoned. Well, thank you. That takes care of the poisoning. I think we're just going to stay here for now. Good, we're, sur we're continuing to search for the exit. Keep that plague ridden away from us. And off turn. <clears throat> Bonus attack. The problem that I'm seeing is we, <clears throat> again, can't uh, disappear during this round. We'll need to stay another round in here. Um... But we also can't let these guys run all over us. So it's a mixture of searching with a few and killing with a few others okay and Let's do this. Moves up. Heals. And continues to move up here. Okay, cool. At least we have blocked those entrances. We're continuing to search. Pushing her back, and yeah, we're saving our uh, our valor for now. We definitely can't stay here forever. These two are effectively dead. All they are doing is de um, acting for one more round, <clears throat> but their bloodshed uh, will kill them. We need to get out of here. Which means I will search for an exit. Putting some bleed onto this guy. Uh, are we tanking him? Maybe. Might be one of uh, the better choices. Enders does have yeah slightly more hit points than zoe but zoe has wisdom 15 so she could theoretically take a level hit okay again we're searching 
I need to get out of here. Just keeping him away. And we'll just leave it at that. Searching. Yeah, still not out of here. Kills the rat, which will be helpful. Oh boy, Plague Ridden are now coming through the ceiling. So this is a fight that we can't win. It's just one where we need to delay and get out of here as fast as possible. Search the exit. Ah, it's almost not impactful anymore. Well, well, well. Since that has no impact, might as well hit. And whilst we have hit... Might as well use our other means of getting rid of these guys. Now I'll keep that one Valor point. Well, fan fucking tastic. We're searching. Almost there. Can we kill this guy's a question? Hmm. Good question. Hmm, potentially not. I rather make sure that Diddy survives. Power has been used. Now we're dying. Uh -oh. Super close. Let's get out of here. Wow, heal all of them. Repair. That was very close. Very close. Plague infected wound. Okay, we don't. We're in. Uh, we're healing at the end of um, at the end of this. Good. 
Good, your troop found a way out of it. Are we successful? This time I've got you. You can't escape. You're completely insane. The plague ridden will be here. That's your problem. You're the one who chose to come here, scholar. You should have known it'd be crawling with plague rats. Shh. For the eye's sake, be quiet. Mercenaries, shut her up. I'll give you anything. Oh, they're already here. Are you kidding me? Ah, yet another fight. Wow, this is not only going to be a long ex uh, episode, but holy, did I not want to do that again. Okay, a couple of lessons from uh, the first one. We want to be mindful with uh, spending our valor. We want to block the entrances and we want to use a couple of our rounds just to uh, to try to get out of here. Enders seeks for an exit. And very much slows that guy down. Fantastic. Same ordeal here. I want to seek for an exit. Should have done that over here just to get that extra bit of damage with knife throwing. I think we're okay. That'll, uh, that'll regain Valor. We are just searching. I want to use our first attack in combat a bonus for that. I'm going to use it next round. Well, look at you. Now, joke's on you, Professor Anos. Good, we're searching further. Every little bit uh, counts at the beginning. Shoots this guy to the wall. And I think we're just looking. End of turn. Moves to here. That will keep us af uh, afloat with um, our Valor points. Now the real question is, shall we further engage? Hmm. He deals a lot of damage, so the answer is yes.
We need to keep uh, Saruna alive. She unfortunately will get overrun very soon. Good, that should keep them at bay for now. Not good enough. Well, she's a damage dealer, so on the other hand, we can't escape this round. Might as well take a couple of shots. Moves to here. Goes there. Ah, not a kill. Close though. I'll just keep the Valor points even if that means that we're taking some poison damage. Continuing to search for the door. Good progress. Moving over here. End of turn. We do have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a problem. Continue to search for the door. Get this guy back. Need the Veiler. Before we're searching for the door, let's see what else we can do. Okay, so that's one down. These guys are clumping up, which isn't the worst. Could hit that plague ridden. Good, trying to burst him down. How far is the dagger range? Okay, well, that was as good as it gets. We have cleared that side, minus the creeper and have looked for the door once. Oh wow, oh wow. Yeah, that's bad. Enders is in trouble. Definitely trying to use find the way out here. And instead of dealing damage, I'm just removing the poison and trying to keep him a bit 
more healthy than he currently is. Could deal with the plague ridden. Four starters were trying to find a way out. Oh wow, nice crit. Okay, that solves our problem with him. He is bleeding and that crit was actually insane. Good job, man. Well, so much for the scholar. Not much I could do to prevent that from happening. Nice. That was a good hit. That was another good one. Uh, not strong enough to kill uh, to kill them. Hiding behind her. Okay, so the creeper is going. This guy is going, this guy is going. The creeper is the only one that we are going to be afraid of. Pinning it to the wall, searching for an exit. And we're almost there. Should be fine, just by standing here. Well, you learn something new, you're not fine, because everybody is just piling up on you. But thankfully, we can escape. Meager 60 uh, experience point, that's almost nothing. By the gods, you're alive. Since the mercenaries never returned, I abandoned my post to try and find out more. The smugglers told me about this village. You shouldn't have abandoned our companions. The mercenaries and I did rather well. They even thought to let the trespasser get eaten. Well done, by the way. I see. Don't feel sorry for that man. He's one of the vermin crossing our borders to try and raid our tombs. In killing them, you do Harag a great service. I hope this reward will be of use to you. We'll return to our camp. Perhaps we'll meet again. Wow. Well, well. I can see different ways of approaching this. One could be to simply go in with all stealth characters, but then you do have a problem with uh, tanking. Or just get a proper composition and do it right the first time. How much healing span? We don't have enough, so we gotta take the 100% heal chance. I don't want any wound to get infected here. Good. Well, that was the plague rid ridden, and with them, uh, the first chapter in the swamp uh, closes. Next time, we're continuing our journey by uh, exploring a little bit more of this infested land. Thanks for watching and if you want to prevent uh, an infestation use uh, a band-aid to clean out uh, the like button. It will thank you for your service and let me know if it worked out well. Thanks and have a good one.